this film was made two years ago. And uh, pag niyo niyo, ma'am, yeah, it's, a, it's an ambitious project, pero hindi ganun kalaki yung scale, pero nagulat kami sa layo na narating niya. Um, very grateful kami dun sa opportunity sa, na mag-premiere sa Europe, sa Tallinn. Pero talagang na, sobrang we feel very blessed nung napili siyang best film, uh, Critics Picks best, best Film. And then since then, yung nga sabi nga ni Noel, uh, umikot na ito, nagpunta siya sa Fantasporto recently at saka sa Mardi Gras Film Festival sa Sydney. Meron pang film festival na nakaabang, hindi pa lang sila nag-announce kaya hindi pa lang sila ma-announce, pero may pupuntahan pa. Um, and so it's really the little film that good. Uh, but it's not, definitely it's not an easy film to make at matatanong yung mom niya, yung mga artista, and also Direk Jun kung gano'n kahilap siyang gawin. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a product of the team, uh, the teamwork of everybody involved. I'd also like to acknowledge the team that's here, our cinematographer Neil Daza. Our assistant director Bernie Sanchez. And Francis Tasho, who pa patiently worked on the script. Tang <laughs> hero uh, and all the team that's here. Also with us here is Olive Isidro, who's part of the cast. In a very special role. And of course, our lead actors. First, um, uh, the Gawad Urian Best Actor, Kinawag the Best Actor of His Generation, Elijah Carlas. And one of the finest actors in the industry since a long time ago. Hindi <laughs> talaga at I, I'm really excited for people to see kung ganong kalim talaga na to artista ng to si Mr. Romney sir. Also here with us is one of our producers, attorney Georgie Alonso. And of course, um, this project is written by uh, and directed by uh, acclaimed filmmaker, best director ng apat na international film festivals sa Madrid, sa Russia, sa India, and now sa Estonia from Kalel. Jun Robles Lai. So yun po, uh, sana tulungan nyo kami to spread the word about our little film. Uh, sana magustuhin nyo yung pelikula. I hope you stay for the media fund kasi I'm sure marami kayong tanong uh, sa pagka pagkawa ng pelikula nito. Uh, and so, enjoy the show. Of course, Rob Nick Sarmenta and Elijah Candas. And of course, our writer, director, direct Jude Robles Dan. Okay, so I think our first question is for Sir Mario Bautista. Tama ba? Ayan, ayan. Hello. Uh, congratulations to everyone concerned. <clears throat> I really was amazed by the movie, and uh, I would like to congratulate Ron Dick and the Elijah. Uh, of course, you both started as child actors, and I've seen. Romney's journey from the time that he was in Gunung ng Palad. And then, nawala siya. Years later, I saw him kasama ni Jokic Spaldito when he was a teenager na he was the state of film. And now he really has uh, evolved into a really great serious actor. So, congratulations, Romney and Elijah. When 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 you got the offer to do the movie, alam niyo ba kung anong pupuntahan talaga ng mga characters in the movie? ikaw. Did you have any second thoughts about the offer or the character? Um, hindi rin kasi nila masyadong, if I remember correctly, hindi rin nila kagad masyadong pinescuss ko ano yung mga yan. They, they, they said lang that they wanted to, to do a project as dalawang actors in a single location and they said read the script so i started reading it actually parang nabuo ko lang siyang kasahin during the first read through it i wanted i wanted to read it in a way na it's also fresh for me na hindi ko nagpe-preempt yung susunod na sasabihin ng character 
So I was going along for the ride while we were doing the first reading. And I don't know if if naalala niya direct, pero there were some parts there na I didn't expect and I caught myself getting teary-eyed reading some of the lines during the read-through and I just realized how good the piece was. Um, not to suck up the director who wrote it. Pero, yun, for the longest time, uh, I've been in this business for more or less 46 years. And it's one of the ways I I personally gauge um, scripts that are good. Pagka habang pinapasa ko siya during the first few pages na apektohan ako, nasasabi ko sa sarili ko, okay, maganda siyang sabayan. And, and maganda yung takbo, yung flow, yung, yung kwento, yung, yung batuhan ng linya. And I just hope I'd be able to, to give life to it. Parang ganun. Um, they didn't, they said what the kind, what kind of character it was. Na professor siya, na gay siya, and he gets caught up in this weird situation. But they didn't really tell me how the story is going to progress. And I guess that helps. Kasi yung, yung setting nung, nung story, conversational siya eh. And then in a conversation, hindi mo alam kung hindi yung sasabihin ng kamit mo eh. So masarap siyang namnamin in that sense na tatanggapin mo lang kung ano iba pa to sa'yo and then you try to react and respond to it. You know, it helps a lot that you both were comfortable with English kasi kung binigay ito sa ibang actor kayo. Kaya kung versant in English, it would uh, fail definitely. But you two, you were both good in English. So, uh, si Jun ang yes. tatanungin ko, paano nag-germinate yung idea nito? How how close is it to you? The material is it autobiographical? Is it really happened to you? So, what's the last? So, you're for what? Yeah, what I can share with you is, I think like like most of us, like most of you during the pandemic, I was, I was going through a lot. And um, it just got to a point that I really needed to bet. And I turned to the one thing that has always saved me. And it was writing. Uh, I thought I was going to write a journal, pero siguro lumabas pa yung pagiging screenwriter ko. And then I just found myself writing these two characters, like talking and all. And you know, it, usually kasi mabagal na ako magsunod na yun eh. Right? It takes me months, sometimes years. But this project, it's a so personal to me. I was able to write it in three days. I was writing that stuff. Oh. Uh, I wrote it in three days. Parang talaga akong sinabihan. Then, <laughs> nung natapos ko siya, sabi ko, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what I came up with, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I, I felt that it, it, it's, a, it's a story that I really wanted to tell. Um, and also, be, I really wanted to tell that story because um, literally, this, this movie, this process is really healing for me and it saved me in so many ways in one. And when I uh, when I went to Tallinn to present this film, I really felt that it was a gift. Uh, this movie is really a gift. Usually I would make a movie always thinking about my audience, but for this one project, I just really wanted to save myself. You know, uh, marami ng ibang movies na to characters lang, di ba? Uh, I thought at first it's gonna be like the before sunrise, before sunset movie. But then it went on to become a sort of a thriller, parang naging sleuth, which is also a two-character movie. And um, in the process, parang, uh, I felt that it was cathartic for you in a way. Did you feel that way? Yes, Paul. Kasi nasabi ko naman to, um, you know, Elijah and Ron, when we were talking about the project, that all the characters, there, I feel that they're all me. The memories that you know they're sharing with each other, some of the dialogues or lines I've heard being thrown at me, and some lines that I've thrown at other people. Uh, even the most painful ones are my memories. So, parang talagang it was the first time that I was able to confront all the things that happened to me. Um, even that story about the kid being molested—that was my story. Uh, it's, it's, it's just really, um, for me, very cathartic, that's all I can say. Uh, Elijah, how about you? Uh, 
you went to an entire range, an entire gamut of emotions in, in this role. Uh, tumanda pa yung uh, appearance mo, pati yung delivery mo. Na, so how did you do it? Um, uh, a, a ton of preparation po, for sure. I mean, before pa po kami nag-start mag-shoot, before pa nag-start mag-rehearse, uh, niunitize ko na ito yung script. Yung mga usual script analysis, script preparation, and uh, direct June, like twice yata kami nag-one-on-one -on -one sa Zoom, like just trying to get a hold of all these characters. Kasi kahit, uh, I would technically play two characters, pero yung si Lancelot, ma madami siyang faces. So, ang daming kinilangang i-figure out kung paano i-physicalize yun. But, yeah, so guidance in ni Direct June, of course, and uh, powerful enough po yung script. I think as an actor, all you have to do is justify it the best way you can. So, how long did it take you to shoot the whole thing? Uh, ay, isang location na? Five? Five days. Five days. Five days. Five days. Five days. Five days. Uh, aside from telling what's the reaction in Portugal and in uh, Sydney? It's been very positive. Honestly, nung nasa Talino ako, I wasn't sure how people were going to, to receive the film. Uh, I didn't expect anything. I really didn't expect that it would win uh, Best Film. But, you know, when you've been to many festivals, medyo nararamdaman mo na kung parang medyo favorite because uh, people wanted to, you know, interview you and you can, you know, the, even the organizer was telling me that uh, it was his favorite film in the festival, so parang, mm. <laughs> so, so, na. Okay. Kasama ko din si Freddy Lapos na alam kung saan kami iuupo at alam niyang mananalo kami kapag doon kami inupo. Sanayin. So again, congratulations. Honestly, uh, I don't know kung paano kayo inonominate kung pareho kayong best actor or, or what or maybe you should both be nominated or movie later on. My best wishes for you and the movie and I hope it would really, really find its market in the coming festival. Thank you. Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. I've seen in a film, it took us one hour and 30 minutes uh, to Elijah and um, Romy. What is the appeal of your characters in the movie? Um, una, <laughs> una, one in 30 lang siya kasi 90 minutes lang yung allowance na binigay sa restaurant. Kung sinabi nilang 2 hours, yeah. pwede sana umabot. <laughs> <laughs> May mga nakat pa doon. May mga nakat pa doon. Oh, okay. Pero, the, um, I think, to me, uh, sorry ma'am, I just wanted to clarify, are you asking what is the appeal to me as the actor? Or what is the appeal of the character? The, the character, what is the, when you read the script, how did it appeal to you? I think, I think Sir Eric is, pardon my French, but in a sense, I think Sir Eric is, <laughs> I think, I think in a sense, Sir Eric is a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, the professors out there who are members of the community. You know, sometimes, the way I understood my character, sometimes you want to do the right thing, you want to be helpful, you want to be a human being, pero you get taken advantage of, like, what happened to him. Um, you get caught up in situations that every human being find, would find themselves in, diba? Um You are either unable to express yourself fully, or um, you're able to express yourself fully and still be misunderstood. Um, you also have moments when you have an agenda, but you can't admit it to yourself. I think that's that's Eric for me in a sense. May gusto siyang gawin out of kindness. Meron din siyang personal interest dun sa, dun sa kay Lancelot, but he doesn't want to act on it. And yet he's entertaining that thought. He's, he's a very very mixed up with his own emotions and then he has to deal with the death of Marcos yung, yung ganon. so he's very human he's so easy to relate to to identify with regardless of, of personal preference parang kahit sino para sa akin pwedeng makarelate dun kay Eric uh, 
um, when when we find ourselves in in difficult situations in, in na hindi natin alam kung tayo talaga naglagay sa sarili natin doon or hindi i think it's so easy if you try to understand the movie from his perspective ibang iba siya and then if you try to understand i'm going ahead of myself sorry from from his perspective ibang iba din siya so um, if people could understand the uh, the there are these viewpoints and and how they see Marcos kasi individually parang magkaiba rin yung tingin nila kay Marcos eh or how they 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 remember Marcos so parang ang sarap and ang ang, ang, ang engaging lang parehong character and that's the way i see it how about you Elijah uh ako naman po I'd, i'll try no? uh Hi, hirap na hirap ako hanapin yung appeal or yung empathy for Lancelot, uh, especially the first couple of times that I read it. Uh, until uh, na-realize ko how flawed these characters are, how flawed humans are in general. So, uh, si Lancelot, he's just a survivalist, and that I can relate to. You know, uh, he, He's been through a lot, and that I can relate to. And just doing everything to keep afloat. Uh, yun kaya kung marilatean yun and siguro appeal to me as an actor why I was so excited I think this is every actor's dream uh, to do a project like this especially coming from the theater and uh, you know you, you siguro once in a lifetime ko lang mabibigyan ng opportunity to play several characters in one film and yun yung appeal niya to me as an actor and yung appeal naman ni Lancelot yung hindi na panapan ng appeal yung medyo may may mga devious plans but yeah, he's just really flawed and he's been through a lot, so he's just trying to keep afloat. Uh, to direct, uh, the movie is an intellectual discourse of relationships, friendships. Uh, masyadong matalino yung film. Uh, it's festival worthy. Uh, how will you uh, relate it to the masa, which I think you were. Uh, uh, Yung, yung, yung gusto mong market. Do you think it will, it will appeal to them? I think that uh, given the chance, um, given the right exposure, uh, the film will find its audience. I don't, I don't look down at the Filipino audience. I think that this is still a story. Um, I, uh, from, from what I heard going to festivals, I also feel that it's also entertaining, even though it's very personal to me. Um, so, yeah, given the right exposure, and hopefully the Metro Manila Film Fest is a good platform for us uh, to reach out to audiences that we won't normally reach. Mm -hmm. uh, because during the festival, you know, you have all, you have, you know, um, all Filipino films being shown. So, hopefully, they would give us the chance, give us the right uh, platform uh, to find our audience. Uh, okay, clarify that. Kanina sabi mo parang yung sto the, the story of Lancelot is your story? Tama ba yun? No, um, ah. ang sabi ko po yung uh, parang lahat ng characters na ito ako yun. Uh, the memories that uh, they share with each other, also my personal memories. Um, so Including the one with the priest? Yep. Yes. Uh -huh. So you know, those are those are things that I was able to to process, discuss. Uh, it, it feels like a soliloquy, a monologue. It, there are two characters talking, but when I watch it, it, it's all me. It's all me. But every time I watch it also, it's not as difficult to watch anymore. Parang it's, it, this film has really set me free, as I mentioned, in more ways than one. And that's what I'm really, truly grateful for. Are you saying that it was therapeutic for you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, ma'am. 20 years old, si Lance, 40 years old. Tapos mm. later, parang 20, 20 years old, naman nabanggit ng age niya. At, at ano ba yung, ayun, mali ba ako pag-aaral <laughs> yun? No, yung pag-aaral kasi ng, ng um, the, movie has re, the movie has four parts. I, I, didn't, uh, I don't want to talk about it. I don't really want to review the, no, but it has four parts and uh, each character goes through something Merong generalization, merong very particular 
Uh, meron din shift na power play dun, dun sa film. So, um, very precise yung paggamit ng numbers, yung 17-year relationship, yung 20, 25 years old, 40, 45. And I think, parang, if I may direct, I think nakuha niya yung unang number dun sa line ko. Kasi sabi ko, a 40-something and a 20-something. Pero it's, you know, siguro nakalimutan ni Eric yung 2, kaya 20-something lang. Kay Elijah, ako naman, ever since, pinagalit kay Elijah, even dun sa Edward, LSS, bago pa nagkalil talagang puring-puring. Parang, at doon sa nakarang interview natin, sabi mo, isa, ito, ito talaga yung pinakamahirap na ginawa mo sa mga nagawa mong pelikula, considering na napaka-challenging ng mga yung nagawang movies. Uh, parang isa talaga doon sa parang yung tinamaan ako, yung, yung part ng pinakwento mo, yung, yung at 10, yung character mo, yung at 10 years old, na-abuse ng pastor. Uh, Ganong palalim yung hugot mo ron. May pinagugutan ka ba sa tunay na buhay yung kumbaga pag-aabuso sa isang bata? Um, definitely po. Uh, nung nag-meeting po kami ni Direk June a couple times before we started shooting, yun nga, in-explain niya po sa akin yung itong sinasabi niya sa ating lahat ngayon. And uh, I think from then, there on, like, madali na po mag-empathize as an actor na nalaman ko na personal to sa director ko na uh, kung gano'n siya ka-importante. Nandun yung pressure po na ma-justify yun, na mabigyan ng weight. And uh, direct June ko na been like, parang very work lang po. Director talaga. Hindi uh, mo, hindi mo may isip yun. And he was just guiding, the whole, guiding me the whole time. So knowing that it's coming from a personal experience and knowing that there are a ton of other people who have gone through this, who, have, who are going through this, uh, as an actor, madali na po yung mag-empathize. Okay, kay, kay Romnick na lang. Nakilala na namin, Peping sa gulong ng palpag, bata, child actor. Ikaw rin ba may mga hugot ka rin na parang yung kabataan mo, parang nasakripisyo, hindi mo na-enjoy ang kabataan mo dahil nagtrabaho ka at an early age? Ay, kung pagdating sa trabaho, wala kasi... Oo nga. Hindi kasi, ano eh, akala ko parte yun ang buhay yung yung ginagawa ko sa trabaho. Akala ko lahat ng bata ginagawa yun. Eh, ganun yung thinking ko. Uh, mag magti-teenager na ako nang ma-realize ko, ah, natrabaho pala ako. Ay, artista pala ako. Um, wala normal lang eh. Cuz cuz everyone I was working with at that time were were very open. They were very uh, family oriented. Sila Caridad Sanchez. Talagang parang pamilya yung trato sa amin sa set and everything. So, wala akong ganung pressure. Hindi ko na isip I was, I think, if I remember correctly, I was 18 years old when I bought my first toy set, yung Lego. Kasi sabi ko gusto ko magkaroon ng Lego nung, nung 18 ako. And as sad as that may sound for other people, sa akin hindi naman. Parang sabi ko, siguro yun ang tamang oras eh. Parang ma-enjoy ko siya lalo. Hindi yung mawawala ko lang yung laruan ko or something. And I've learned to enjoy things that way. Kung may hugot man ako sa film, it's like, well, like I just said, it's so easy to empathize with, with what people are going through. And at the same time, lahat tayo may relasyon eh, di ba? Whether it's a, it's a past relationship, it's an existing, existing relationship, or a relationship with family, you, we get hurt. Um, sometimes, hindi naman nila sinasadya. And sometimes, hindi natin sinasadya, nasasakta natin sila. So it's easy to put, for me, it's easy to put myself in that situation where these are two people who just don't want to talk to each other. And, and they end up hurting. Parang, oh nga, ganun nga tayo, no? Ganun. And, and the way Direct June wrote it, it's just so easy to follow emotionally. Last question na lang for Direct. Direct, parang sana yung iba, parang ito, at saka yung apat ang mag, uh, maglalaban sa awards. Ang sa mga sa'yo, ang talagang pelikula ng sa film fest. May pressure ba yun sa'yo? O... Walang, kapag nagawa ko ng ipigil, ang pressure sa'kin kapag ginagawa yung pelikula. Ang um, pressure sa akin, pag writer-director ka, ang pressure sa'yo is kung paano mo iiwala yung pagiging director mo sa pagiging writer mo, how to make a story visual. Lahat yun eh, yun yung pressure ko. But the moment na magawa na, the moment, the moment it's presented to the public, I don't know. It's, it's not my film anymore and I, I honor every interpretation and criticism or you know, opinion about the film. So 
pagdating sa sa awards, hindi ko na iniisip yun. Uh, nagawa na namin yung pelikula eh. So, any appreciation, we na welcome namin, we will be grateful for that. Thank you. Alright, thank you po. Salamat. Next question. Uh, uh, Marinel from Inquirer. Hello guys. Um, medyo, um, ang galing yung mag-explain. So, yung mga questions, nasapul nyo na rin. But, um, for direct, um, uh, medyo na-explain mo ng maayos direct yung how you wrote it and yung na ex na ano talaga na this is really you. Pero, walk us through dun sa ano po, sa pag-direct. Because, nakikita namin yung mga iba-ibang angles, like, uh, pag tumingin yung character ni Elijah, pataas yung camera mo, and then pababa yung kay Sir Eric, pa ganun, uh, parang may mga symbolisms po ba? Or paano po yung process nyo sa directing? Um, because it's a two-character uh, film, and it's inspired by Cheddar, and it's, yes, drew, yes. You know, it's it really draws a lot of, a, a lot of inspiration from, from, from Cheddar. I didn't want it to be just gender. I wanted mm -hmm. it to be very visual. So I don't normally storyboard my film, but okay. this this project na has storyboard talaga siya. Uh, lahat ng shots from start to finish, kung kailan gagalaw yung camera. Um, okay. Because I wanted the lens to tell the story. I wanted mm -hmm. it, I wanted, I really wanted to present it as film. Um, so, uh, matang mahabang discussion yun with uh, with my uh, with my team, with my APC, um, but by the time that I met with them, go ako na talaga yung storyboard. Mm -hmm. Buong sa akin yung storyboard, and then I had just had to consult with with you what works, what doesn't support. Um, kasi importante sa akin yung power dynamics, importante sa akin yung shifting yes. ng tones, importante sa akin yung setting ng mood, etc. I wanted the audience to feel, kasi pati close up siya eh. Mm -hmm. So nakakatakot yung sa occasion na maramdaman mo mga baka parang talking heads lang yung yung pelikula. And so, yun. So that was really important for me. Kailan titigil yung kotse, kailan magliliwanag yung bandol sa likod, kailan babakot yung line na yun, all of that. That was choreographed. And the, what, the other reason why it had to be planned that way was because we only had five days to shoot it. Mm -hmm. So I had to make sure na efficient uh, yung tapo ng, ng, ng shooting. Direct pati yung paglunok ni Romnick or pag ano, twitch ng nose niya, yung mga ganun direct, kasama yun. De, may mga, may, of course, ano, the, the, what, I really hate storyboards. Okay. Sa totoo lang, kasi it, it takes away, for me, yung experience ng, yung discovery, yung magic of the moment. But I have two great actors, and they gave me so many magical moments mm -hmm. uh, during the shoot. Yung mga galing sa kanila, yung kailan yung pause, kailan natutuloy yung luha. <laughs> Lahat na, na binigay nila sa akin, na-capture ko. So, na, it's it's really a collaboration. And you know, kahit anong pang preparation ang gawin ko bilang director, kung hindi magaling ang mga artist ako, hindi tatayo yung pelikula. I'm just truly, truly grateful that, you know, I was working with two brilliant actors. Good job, Derek. Okay, um, dun sa dalawang brilliant actors. Um, tanong ko lang kasi yun nga, um, sabi naman ni Alice nga, matalino yung film, ganyan, pati yung pagsusulat. Paano nyo siya, um, paano nyo i-entice yung mga supporters ninyo? I mean, yung particular group na niche ninyo to watch the movie. Uh, uh, okay, si, ano muna? Wrong <laughs> I think I would I would really want for them to focus on the material. Because okay. the material is really good. Um, I, I feel very blessed to have been asked to do this again. Thank you, Derek. Uh, you know, it's 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 the first time we see the entire film also. Mm -hmm. uh, I think even our team was like trying to ask Derek if I could view a copy or something. <laughs> Pero wala, walang, walang copy. Okay. You see it with us. And, and I just saw it and I think it's... For me, it's going up there on my wall. You know, I know it's, it's one of those films I'd really want people to see if they want to get to know how I work. 
Um, uh, I would be grateful if if meron pa mga tao talagang sobrang nakatutok. I you know there was a time when 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 I wasn't even considering doing this again and I was more busy with other things. Uh, so just to be able to do this with them at this time is a great thing. If if people would go and see it, that would be such a gift. And then we'd welcome that gift. Thank you. Yeah, Elijah, um, uh, like, sobrang in demand. No, no. <laughs> like, direct June po kasi sa kanina na he doesn't look down on the Filipino audience. Siguro, mm -hmm. ganun din po yung tingin ko sa siguro lahat ng sumusuporta, lahat ng nagmamahal sa akin. And I feel like ever since I started, uh, I've always let everybody know how passionate I am, you know, how passionate I am to to make quality films, uh, to tell stories that mean so much to me. And uh, even nung lumaki po yung fan, fans club, nung Game Boy days, uh, mm -hmm. even all of them knew that I was politically active, I was socially aware, uh, I love films, you know, I love making relevant films. So, yeah, feeling ko ma-appreciate nila to. It's, I mean, you, we all saw the film, so sana po, sana they don't look down on it as well. And uh, I'm sure that they will appreciate this. Okay, thank you. Direct additional question lang po. We were discussing this kanina na kung ikaw yung tatanungin at sino yung lead mo, sino yung second lead mo? Natawa yung crowd. Ako lang yun. Parehong pareho sa din. Nakita nyo naman how in terms of range, how they both present their range as actors from playing this character and then going into flashbacks that we have to play the memory of that of that character. Because I don't feel like I'm going to be like, I'm not 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 going to be like, Okay. Speechless. Thank you, thank you, Paul. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You've been in the business for 46 years, Nika. Right? So, so, I am Kasia. I'm always up with the rights. I'm not sure. And, you ever na nararamdaman na you were deprived or of your happiness and joy? Yung nagtatrabaho ka ng joy ng katataan? Objective kasi yan, eh. Objective and subjective kasi yan eh. Depende sa'yo yan eh. Um, you know, if, if, if you want to think about it, I mean, let's face it, this business can be very brutal. You know, it takes away a lot of your time. You know, it takes away your studies if you allow it to. It would take away your relationships if you allow it to. It would take away a lot of your happiness if you allow it to. And at the same time, if you know the reason why you're doing it, and if that reason is enough to make you happy, then you will remain happy. I can't speak about other people's experience. Kasi iba yun eh, personal experience yun. I, I, iba yun, uh, personal process yun, personal acceptance, thinking, tolerance, whatever you wanna put, whatever you wanna call it. Um, ako, there can be some things that I can be sour about uh, with this business. But if when I look at it from a different perspective, it I just have to find a reason to be grateful. You know, I just have to find a reason to be grateful, whatever it is. So I am grateful for everything that I have gone through. It, some of them may not have been nice, or some of them may have been painful. But I'm grateful about the lesson afterwards and what I learned because of that. So okay, okay. And uh, fast forward. Sa tagal mo, tapos ngayon nabibigyan ka pa rin ng lead role na ganito magandang material. So anong, anong feeling na, di ba, napakadami ng mga nagsulputan, pero si Rocky, eto pa rin, di ba? Lead role. Number one, nabait na Diyos, sobra. Number two, I've been blessed enough to be able to work with people and hopefully was able to connect in such a way that we actually have a friendship or a relationship. I don't get picked out because I have a PR team or whatever. I, I still think I get picked out because 
we've had a good relationship during previous work uh, um, that they remember na, oy, madali ka trabaho sa Romney. You know, and, and he would try to deliver at the very least. So, yun, I'm, I'm grateful for that, more than anything. Was there a time, Romney, na gusto mo lang patut pa kayo sa pag-arot or sa showbiz? Madami. Madami. Uh, the first, I think, was I was a teenager. Uh, there was a bad write-up about my mom, and it was very personal, and it wasn't true, and it affected me. Um, and then, siguro, Nung mga mid-twenties at one point, I wanted to stop. And then, nung magpamilya ko, I stopped. Actually, for several years, I would have said yes things every now and then, but I was more interested in taking care of, of my children. And then, um, la the later part of uh, 2010s, uh, gusto ko mag-focus sa business. But, yun, I had friends who called out and said, gawin natin to together. And I couldn't say no to some of them, so I kept coming back. Ito last na lang talaga ito ah. Hindi ka naman nagkaroon ng regrets na nagkaroon ka ng love tip dati. I think love, I think love teams have their place. I mean, if you're in that age bracket, I think may pwesto siya eh. Kung 30 na ako, tapos sinabi sa akin, kailangan mong mag-love tip, sabi ko, ano? Isip ko mag-30 na ako, love tip pa. Yung ganun. Pero, I, I was in that age, and it was my in my path at that time. Well, no regrets, you know, it's all, it's all part of it. I had to learn something from my concept. Thank you very much. I love the wrong thing. Because, very honest, right? Ganun mga kailangan natin sa book ko, pati pang title. Direct, ah, paano nakasya, no, si si Robic? Although, nasabi na rin yan, pero from your end. I've worked with Robic before. Or when I was starting out in the industry, I had this one project that was shot in Singapore. Um, just a co-production with a Singapore, uh, Singapore production house. And then, I remember wrongly. Because it's light lang yung material na yun eh. Pero I remember you, you know when you get to work with an actor, and you see the humanity in their performance. You see the sincerity and just how authentic the performance is, kahit na light lang, etc. But nag stand out kasi nararamdaman mo yung performance. So that's, I, I na, na sa sense ko agad yun sa isang artista, kasi isang time lang yung ipad ko, na, nararamdaman ko agad yun. And, and that stayed with me. And I've always wanted to work with, with Romney. Hindi lang dumanating yung project. Eh. And then nung dumating to, Isa talaga siya sa isip ko, I, 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 I reached out to people. Uh, I wanted to know if, because I didn't know if they wanted to work with him. And so, nung nagpumayag siya na nag-reading kami, I, I was really honored. And one of the results, it was, it was a reading, eh, because I really but just wanted to hear him again, I wanted to see him again. Ay, wala. I was just blown away. Last Elijah. Uh, doing scenes with Romney, the veteran. Hindi ba ka mag-uunitig mo? Although alam ko naman kung gaano ka kagaling, pero syempre, ibang dynamics mo. Oh, oh, of course. I mean, anytime naman po that I get to work with someone as great of an actor like Kuya Romney. But, yeah, uh, he couldn't have been any kinder. Umpisang-umpisa pa lang po, uh, open na open na po agad sa akin, nag-uusap na po kami. Um, madami kami mga mutuals, so may mga uh, usapan about that. And in terms of acting po, yeah, sobrang matulungin lang din po ni Kuya Romney. He, came, he, he does theater din po kasi, so may same language kami lahat, kaming tatlo po actually. So, uh, laking tulong po yun na nakababa lahat ng walls. Thank you. Thank you From po. Leo to Leia. Yeah. Did you lose, uh, because you said earlier that you finished this film in just five days? I mean, Three. In total, a uh, number of days of printing of uh, the BGC, of the board. So, so in that, was it, did, did it come easy to you because uh, you you have very good actors? First choice, who was to play their respective roles? 
Oh, well, um, definitely it helped a lot that, you know, I, I was working with actors who um, were very authentic uh, and who had the discipline needed to, you know, to, for us to finish it in five days. Malaking, 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 napakalaking pili po yun. Um, they were my first choice, but I also, but I, as it's always my process to ask my actors to, to, to read the script um, because of what I stand for, uh, being a member of the community, and you know, this is a film of, uh, with LGBTQ plus characters, and you know, I wanted to be sure that they read the script, and when I read with them, there's an understanding that you know what I stand for, I hope that you know, uh, we stand for the same things, the same values. Because uh, they important to me and for So, yun, uh, during the reading, I could, I, I, I could feel your kinship. I could feel that I was working with like-minded people who just really wanted to tell a story. To tell, uh, a story. So, lahat po kami dito storytellers. So, from the briefing uh, with both of them, naging madali ba for you, Derek, to explain to both of them what type of roles and what kind of roles will will they play at na hindi na talaga na agad nila and they were into it talaga. Hindi ka ba nagalit never once during the shoot? As did, a, did you lose your cool? As a director po kasi, I, I, I don't want to over talk, mm -hmm. over explain, especially um, if I feel that the script can, uh, the script already has the information that they need. Uh, so, meron kami mga conversation about some of my intentions and all. But I also wanted to give, I always want, you know, I also want to give my actors enough space. Um, I, I want them to feel, you know, that they can collaborate with me, they can add things, uh, they can, do, I want them to feel that they're in a safe space. At the same time, it's a space where they can play, where they're allowed to do their interpretation. Well, pasok na lang po ako kapag hindi ko, hindi yun yung intention ko, o baka hindi yun. Ano, minsan, hihingi ako ng isa pang take, kung ano yung parang pwedeng possibilities, so that during the edit, I will have options. So, ganun po, parang it's a very collaborative atmosphere dun sa shooting natin. What is the most difficult scene that you shot? In the, in the entire film, and can we add that to actors as well? As, uh, Maybe different for you and oh different for me. I, for me, it's still flashback. Mm -hmm. When you're portraying, uh, telling the story from the perspective of this character, uh, your memories, um, it, it, that for me was the most difficult. You can see how it is going to be because Ang inspiration talaga niya, Chetter yun. Uh, yung, yung, yung device na ginamit ko po, Chetter yun eh. Um, but I really wanted to honor the Chetter as well. Because if we can use dance, if we can use painting, if we can use visual art as inspiration to make films, why not, why not Chetter? Chetter is drama. Uh, pero that's, that, that was also very difficult. It was, in terms of edit, parang we had several options how to do it. But, at the end of the day, I decided, you know, let's keep it simple. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was definitely the flashback because we had to, like, we had to do all of our work to physicalize it. And then the director was like, but at the end of it, was like, so bad, they made two naman silang different interpretations. Here, Lance, hello, chao, si Eric on who Marcos is. So, pwedeng hindi sila perfectly magkapareho yung performance namin as Marcos. Uh, but definitely, almost all of it was very difficult. Uh, ako po, uh, may tendency kasi ako na uh, super aralin yung script, na i-memorize lahat, down to my units, my choices, everything. Uh, even kalal days pa alam ni Derek Green yun. So he would, you know, keep me in check kung masyado ba nagiging mechanical yung performance ko, masyado mo memorize yung flow. Eh, it had to be natural since real time yung ano, and it's very conversational. So yun po yung mga binabatay ang punong show. Thank you po. Thank you. Uh, ako po, isa sa mga iniisip ko palagi is if this film is going to last two hours, how do we keep the conversation interesting? Yeah, 
Yeah. So, yun yung yung uh, how do you make sure that the tone is engaging, that the 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 conversation is still uh, thought provoking? Yung yung tono, yung pacing ng pagsasalita, yung yung kilas mo sa maliit na space na yon ng close up. Eh, isipin mo din, di ba? Uh, kaya sinisipin namin minsan kung ano yung kung ano yung gusto nila mong yan yung eksena and then you try to find out from the director how does he want to tell this part of the story and yun, binabantayan namin si Marcos, yung character ni Marcos how are we going to make it clear for the audience na this is the same person and then yun nga, also that idea na iba tayo ng perception about about each other like even if we're together here we might not have the same perception about uh, Elijah diba? so baka pwedeng doon uh, uh, besides some of the small nuances na pwede namin gawin pareho tsaka yung pakitungo ng tao sa yan diba hindi pareho yung pakitungo kay kay Eric tsaka yan, kay kay Lancelot ni ni Marcus so we had to find a way kung paano may interesting yung timpla nung nung lahat niya and did it and we had a lot of fun doing it and just wanted to add that. Yeah, definitely. Right. Thank you. And now we're down to our last question. Uh, Alas. From Ala. Kasi paglulupang hinirang po ulit. Kapag hindi na ba, tatayo ulit tayo. So from Alan Jones, our last question. For any questions naman, pwede niyo pong i-message yung Facebook ng Idea First. Pwede niyo rin po silang i-message uh, kung may mga personal questions pa kayo. But yes, for our last question. Thank you. Thank you. Naalala ko lang nung ano, right after you shoot yung movie, direct June, di ba? Nakausap ka namin. Tapos sa... Grabe yung papuri mo kay Romnick nung when we talked to you, sabi mo sobrang galing niya talagang actor, talagang you were blown away ng nung performers na dito. At yun nga, nung mapanood namin ito, talaga namang, ang galing naman talaga nung Romnick Sarmenta eh, no? Parang ang hit, ang sarap mapanood ulit yung, kasi parang medyo nakalimutan na natin sa tagal din ng panahon, medyo hindi na natin siya napapanood sa mga ganito kamiti na, na roles, di ba? Tapos, eto, sa isang ganun, Babad na babad sa ano, di ba, sa screen, halos hindi sila, hindi sila tumuyo, tumuyo at only Elijah the whole time. So, ang, ano, ang galing. So, na, namangharing kami talaga sa galing ni, ni Romnick. So, how do you feel now, Romnick, na parang, ayun nga, may, nabag, nabigyan ka ulit ng ganitong pagkakataon. Tapos, na mismo ba yung ganitong klase ng role na nagpapakita mo talaga yung, yung range mo? Lalo na nagbago na yung, yung sa bandang dulo, nag-iba na yung mga... Diba? Yung nuances at yung nag-iba na yung characters ninyo. Ang galing. So, how do you feel? Um, sa akin kasi, gift siya palagi pag pinagkatiwalaan ka. With, with any piece. Um, whether it's a it's a, uh, a cameo, a support, or, or, or a big job. Um, kasi you get to tell the story of another person. And a lot of times, it includes you. I think it's it's both impersonal and personal when when you work as an actor. Uh, impersonal kasi hindi, maari hindi yun yung kwento mo. Pero personal kasi emosyon mo yung gamit mo eh, sa pagkakwento. And, and um, like Direct June said, no, there are times we are healed by the things that we do. And I'd like to think that a lot of those scenes, a, a lot of those words, were also able to make me reflect on some things and, and heal from them. So it's a gift to be asked to do it, to, to work with all of them, to, to be part of the film. And whatever talent is being uh, 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 said that, that I have, um, and that's a gift from God. So I'm just grateful. Thank you. Congrats. So, how do you feel naman working with ano, Elijah? Anong masasabi mo sa kanya bilang kayong dalawa lang talaga yung nagpatuhan dito at nagtag-iisa ng acting? Nakakalimutan ko nga sa set ako eh. Because he's very honest also. And he's very easy to work with. Uh, it's such a light conversation. We we laugh in between takes. Minsan papaalala pa ni Direk na, Uy, seryoso yung pelikula ha? Tawanan tayo ng tawanan. Kasi ang kulit lang namin. And then, once we start working, nakakalimutan mo na sa eksena. Kasi 
very honest, very open, and and ang dali, ang sarap ka trabaho. Congrats ulit. Kay Derek June, Derek, I know this is very personal to you. Tapos, um, I remember meron kang post um, parang late last year about it. Na parang first time mo lang ever ginawa in your life. No? Na, ganun ka personal yung uh, nireveal mo dun sa, dun, sa, dun sa post mo. Tapos, sabi mo this is um, set, uh, parang part, confessional part section. Uh, ilang percent ba yung fiction, ilang percent yung personal mo talagang ni-reveal dito? Kasi, I can also say that the film is about me, but also not about me. <laughs> All at once. So, parang, uh, pag unong naging trailer na siya, I mean, yeah. may pinuntahan ng mm -hmm. ibang great related yung, yung, yung storytelling. Eh. But, uh, yung Picture. memories again, Mga particular members ng mga characters galing, as I mentioned earlier, galing, galing sa akin. So, parang pag pinanood ko siya, parang hindi na sa akin importante ngayon yung pinanggalingan. And I think, ganun din naman sa project. So, hindi na magiging importante pa ako yung pinanggalingan. I mean, film is film. Kahit sabi nga nung character, kahit basura pa ang pinanggalingan. Kapag nag-ipwede ko na siya, nag-work siya, meron siyang value. Uh, so yun lang yung hinahabol ko rin tayo. Tayo yung lagi ko tinatanong this movie so personal to me. Ano kayong value nito sa mga manunod? And it's, it's really a gift that you know, it was validated when it won an award, when you know, it was recognized as, as a film, as a story. And, and you know, they were moved, they, they, they enjoyed uh, the story. So para sa akin, enough na yun. Yung sinabi mo na three days mo siya sinulat na walang break, was it during the pandemic pa? Direct? Yeah, during the pandemic. Oh. Oh, so doon mo lang lahat parang binuo yung lahat at binuhos lahat yung mga sabi mo mga good drama and everything. And curious lang ako, kailan nangyari at what point in your life sinabi mo na yun sa post mo you were severely depressed and you were on the brink of um, during suicide. During the time that I was writing it. During the time that I was writing it. Um, but I don't know how to explain. I mean, kung, kung, kung writer ka, di mo rin naman masabi kung saan na galing. Mm -hmm. Your talent is really a gift from God. That's all I can say. And when I was writing, I didn't know kung saan direction pupunta yung kwento. Hindi ko alam kung ano yung structure niya. I, nung nabuo na lang siya, nung ko na lang na, ano yun? <laughs> Ay, nabuo ako. <laughs> but I, I honestly don't. As, as a writer, I, I as the writer and director, I, I'm always trying to be self-aware um, of the gift that I've been given. Uh, paano pa siya pwede mo maximize how I can, how I deal with yung mga writer's block and all that. I'm really trying to be self-aware. But at the end of the day, hindi ko talaga alam kung saan ang gagaling ko, paano pa siya may susunod. Sinusunod ko lang siya and may nabubuo ko. Ang tapos last na, kasi hindi naman siguro, never mo naman siguro na-experience kasi nagihan ka ng you're not a writer. You have no talent as a writer. No, never ever, seguro yung in your life. I experience kung sinabi yan ako, you're not a director. Uh, when I was starting, I experience kung sinabi yan ako no, na you should stop directing. You're not a director. Uh, nasa niyong nagsabi nun direct. Wala na siya. Ano tale? Ano siya? Ano yung nagsabi nun director then? Then critic. Okay. Sinabi yan ako, and that was I remember vividly. That was 2012. Uh, and then that was also the year that I was given the break to direct Wahau. Mm -hmm. oh. That started it. And then yung next movie niya, oh, is. <laughs> so, but Tom to one sa. Okay, so the movie is before Wahau, yun yung nilain yeah, niya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after Wahau, all praises na siya. Oh, all praises na siya. Whoa! <laughs> ganun talaga ang buhay. Oo, oh, oh, ganun talaga. <laughs> okay, kay Elijah. Kasi. Yung, actually, sa simula ng movie, direct, parang akala ko talaga si Romnick yung may pagka-may pagka-predatory dahil na parang may bata siyang, ano, di ba? May bata. <laughs> Kasi obviously, ano siya, gay siya, di ba? Sa first scene. <laughs> Tapos meron siyang batang estudyante na parang feeling ko, eh, baka <laughs> minumul... <laughs> Oo, na-judge ko agad siya na baka minumulit siya na yung, ano. It turned out, yung si Elijah, no, parang napakabait na innocenting ang helang dating. Later on, siya yung parang ano, nag-unravel yung totoong pagkatao. Napakaganda nung 
development ng ano. Ang galing nun, Elijah. <laughs> Fabulous yung ano. Tapos, di ba yung, ano tawag doon? <laughs> Transition, yun. Ang galing. Alam mo, tapos yung, yung iba na yung, yung iba na yung camera, angle ni Derek, di ba? Tapos iba na may music, yung, yung kulay na pati texture nung ano, nung scene. Ang galing. Hanip naman talaga. Ang question mo, Oh, how do you feel doon na parang ganun nga yung character na ang galing nung pagkaka-develop nung ano niya. Na una, parang mo napakabait yung pala, eh ganun, yung mga pa-alter. Honestly, before the screen, kinakabahan po ako kasi it's been two years since we shot this. I haven't seen anything aside from that clip na pinost ni Direk Jun sa Twitter and yung poster na ang ganda. Pero wala pa po ako napapanood at all. And yun yan. I remember going into this, even Direk Jun was like, either baliw tong ginagawa natin, either it's gonna work really well or it's not gonna work at all. So, hindi ko alam. Pero nag-best film sa talent, sa istorya, so parang okay, parang okay siya. Tapos, um, Kaya kabahan na po sa performance ko. I mean, obviously, maganda yung material and the, the team is top-notch. But yung uh, performance ko na ang dami kasing layers, kaya let's hope Exactly. Oo oh, nga. Unti-unti nag-unfold, no? Yeah, Kali. pero aware siya dapat sa umpisa pa lang. He knows what he's doing. He has a plan. And uh, may intention talaga siya, may purpose talaga siya. So sana naging klaro dun sa napanood natin. Hoping na uh, the audience as well find it clear and to make sense of it. Oh, actually, worried kami direct na, di ba dalawang lang sila mag magkausap the whole time, tapos nakaupo, hindi sila gumagal na doon lang sila talaga. Pero, we were so wrong, no? <laughs> Dahil, yun nga, may mga layers, tapos unti-unti, naging gripping yung ano, hanggang sa naging thriller na siya. So, congratulations. Alright, thank you, Alan. Thank you, Paul, sa mga nag-stay. Maraming salamat sa mga nag-punta. Bumove yung mga followers namin na supportahan yung pelikula. I think you're the best help that we have at this point. Uh, if you talk about it, if you share with them how good the experience was or how how much you enjoyed it, it would help us a lot. You, you can expect us to promote it, of course. Um, pero syempre, sasabihin nila, at ng mga detractors namin, syempre gawa niya, po-promote niya. Pero kayo, malaki yung factor na magagawa niya. So tulungan niyo kami i-promote siya, uh, ipakalat na it's worth watching. We believe that it is worth watching. Um, not only because it's a good film, but because there are so many things that you can get from it if you really look into it. At maraming, 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 maraming sila po. Alright, and you, Eliza. Yeah, April 8th po, no? Kaya remember summer, start na April 8th. Excited ako mag-float. <laughs> Ilan lang tayo sa float tayo, tayo lang yun lang doon. Pero excited ako. Ano ka na yung float? Excited ako may experience yun. And uh, salamat po sa inyo lahat for for coming and watching. And we hope na uh, nagustuhan niyo po yun. I think this has been a uh, very cathartic, uh, emotional, and therapeutic experience watching this film for a lot of us. So, uh, yeah, salamat po sa panunood ngayon at sana tulungan niyo po kami promote to this coming MFF Summer. Thank All you po. Right. Okay. Okay. Kaya po na sinabi niyo na uh, uh, kung nagustuhan niyo po yung pelikula na uh, please help us spread the word kasi kailangan kailangan po talaga na kung di niya siya masyadong nagustuhan, huwag na po kayo mag- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yay, once again, thank you. 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 Th